lot of my friends have GP or FM WhatsApp installed on their smartphones and they are always bragging about the features they get using these clone WhatsApps. And the question I ask them is whether it's safe or not and they come up with excuses like we don't have that sort of data on our devices that can get leaked. So in today's video, we are going to discuss whether using this clone WhatsApp is safe or not. Therefore, without wasting any of your time, let's jump to the video. I'm going to discuss only a single point with you guys and that will be enough for those who are already using GB WhatsApp or thinking about installing it. So when you open a chat in WhatsApp, you will see at the top that it says that this conversation is end-to-end -end encrypted, which simply means that no third party, even WhatsApp itself can view your conversations. And if someone has to hack your account, then basically he will have to hack complete WhatsApp just in order to get to your account. Which I think is near to impossible because WhatsApp is owned by Meta and Meta is a billion dollars company and to hack a company like that is not an easy job. But on the other hand, these clone WhatsApps are illegal to use because they violate WhatsApp policies and your account could be suspended permanently. Also, we actually don't know who owned these clone WhatsApps. And they use unknown servers which simply means that your data can easily be leaked and used against you. Now heading towards the end of this video, I am going to give answer to those people who say that they don't share any sort of private data using these clone whatsapps. So whenever you install these applications on your smartphone, you basically give them access to your pictures, videos, microphone and contacts. So even if you don't share anything personal through these applications, still your smartphone data is always at risk. This includes your contacts, pictures, videos, other social media accounts and your bank accounts as well. Now let me give the final verdict on this and that is please do not install these sort of clone applications on your smartphone as you can risk a lot of personal data due to these applications just to get a few more features. Okay guys that's it for this video and if you guys have any question regarding this video then feel free to contact me on Instagram. I'll give the link somewhere in description below. Also, if you guys like the video, then please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll keep a like aim of 30 likes on this video. So help me achieve the target too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.